Hi guys, welcome to the RPP Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, another advanced name reactions uh, to, pre uh, to prepare the C double bond C category. Okay, now the another name reactions uh, in C double bond C category is, I think it is a sixth lecture. So which is nothing but a Wittig reaction. Wittig reaction. So generally Wittig reactions are used to prepare the olefins. Olefins is nothing but a C double bond C. Okay, so generally the carbonyl compounds are treated with uh, olefins. Uh, sorry, treated with uh, like a uh, phosphorus elides, phosphorus uh, elides, which is nothing but uh, adjacent positive negative charges are called elides. So, in presence of like a basis uh, or uh, thermal condition, okay. Now we will get the olefins, olefins along with uh, like a uh, triphenyl phosphonyl oxide, phosphon oxide. So, simply, so these are the uh, phosphorus oxide, is this is nothing but uh, it is a uh, byproduct, it is byproduct uh, here we will get the olefins okay so the, the general definition of a Wittig reaction like this the conversion of carbonyl compounds into olefins with the help of Phosphorus elides. Phosphorus elides. So this is the uh, general definition regarding to the Wittig reaction. So the conversion of carbonyl compounds into olefins uh, with the help of uh, phosphorus elides, so we will get the uh, like olefins as well as uh, uh, phosphorus oxide as a byproduct, as a byproduct. So in in generally here the new term which which are observed here, so which is nothing but uh, elides. Okay, so elides is nothing but adjacent positive negative charges are called elides. If uh, positive negative charges present in a molecule other than adjacent, then it is called zwitterion. Then it is called zwitterion. Now, how the uh, how what is the uses of phosphorus elides in Wittig reaction? How many types of uh, uh, elides are used over the Wittig reaction? So how they are functioning in Wittig reaction? Okay, we will discuss each and every point very clearly. Now here. Uh, if phosphorus is present, that, that's why it is called as phosphorus elides. If sulfur is present, then it is called sulfurous elides. Selenium is present, selenous elides. Okay. Now let us go to the how to prepare the elides. How to prepare the elides. Now the preparation of elides. Preparation of elides. Okay. Simply now we will take the triphenyl phosphine as a starting material. Triphenyl phosphine as a starting material. So triphenyl phosphine will be treated with a, like a alkyl halides. So generally primary and secondary alkyls are used. Alkyl halides are used in the Wittig preparations. Okay. Now here phosphorus having the lone pair of electron. That lone pair of electron will attack over the electrophilic center of alkyl halide. Then it eliminates the AX group. That means halide group. Now here PH3 now here phosphorus, phosphorus are connected to the carbon atom which is nothing but CH2 which is connected to the R. Here X minus is eliminated. So whenever the lone pair of electrons, any atom lone pair of electrons can attack the like uh, vacant orbitals, now it forms the like a dative. Now however it is covalent bond, doesn't matter. So whenever the mo mo more number of electrons, uh, which is more, more bonds which is caused by the lone pairs, okay, which is uh, caused by the donation of lone pairs, then it gets the positive charge. Okay, so this is a general criteria. In case of borons, it accepts, that's why uh, over the present uh, negative charge. Okay, now here it presents the positive charge uh, because of more number of bondings. Okay, now here more number of bondings uh, which is uh, concerned by the like a uh, uh, lone pair of electrons donation. Okay, now I use the some of the base. Okay, here the uh, critical conditions of bases also uh, role the, uh, uh, plays the a good role in Wittig reaction. Okay, now here in the presence of base, it abstracts the proton PPH3 plus. Uh, now here it uh, it deprotonated. That means here it uh, it uh, deprotonated. Now it creates the negative charge. Now here it forms the uh, like a. Uh, Phenyl three times so phosphorus plus CH minus R, which is also represented like this. PH3 phenyl double bond CHR. 
okay which is called uh, elites so both are the same representation which is that which is are called elites so this is the general preparation method of elites general preparation method of elites now here elites are classified into several types like a uh, stabilized elites as well as non stabilized elites we'll go through the stabilized what are the stabilized and non stabilized elites okay now the classification of elites so generally elites are classified so based on their stability so some of the elites are called destabilized elites destabilized that means non stabilized some are called semi stabilized some of the elites are called uh, like uh, it is called uh, stabilized elites stabilized elites okay so elites is nothing but adjacent positive negative charges so whenever the destabilized elites that means uh, here the, the it it's it destabilizes the elite character now here elites will attack over the electrophilic center that means uh, elites are more nucleophiles okay whenever uh, our uh, adjacent group uh, which is connected to the like a uh, phosphorus pph3 like a ch here r group is there so that r group uh, here it decreases the stability of a nucleophilicity of a elite then it is called destabilized elites if it increases the stability then it is called stabilized elites now in between them it lies in between them then it is called semi stabilized elites now we'll go through the uh, very uh, easier manner okay now here pph3 like a ch here r group is there here it is plus here it is minus now here it is a negative charge now i'll take the one of the alkyl group uh, like alkyl group or hydrogen group alkyl or hydrogen group uh, i'll use it the one of the alkyl group now here alkyl groups are donating groups now here it donates the electron pair here already negative charge is present okay now however our alkyl groups donates their pair of electrons their more electron density towards the negative atom now here electronic electronic repulsion takes place now here they are the step a destabilized that means uh, unstable elites unstable elites so whenever r is equal to alkyl or hydrogen groups then it is called unstable elites okay now however here uh, like a uh, ph3 p like a uh, ch here in case of a withdrawing group in case of a withdrawing group uh, uh, i would like to take the r group as here minus a positive so here this negative charge is the carbonyl group is withdrawing group we know that the carbonyl group is withdrawing group the negative charge can shift it towards the carbonyl atom now it creates the like a stable resonating structure stable resonating structure now here it creates the negative charge over there negative charge over the uh, like oxygen ion now again it is written back so now it creates the uh, carbon carbon ion it creates the carbon ion that means um, here it creates the stability through the resonating structure now here it is called stabilized elites stable elites now the semi stable means if r is equal to phenyl it may be possible both stabilization or destabilization so this is called semi stabilized elites okay so uh, this is a uh, not our discussion but uh, i would like to uh, mention this semi stable elites uh, it gives the like a st uh, different uh, stereochemical product that is nothing but a mixture of product that's why i mentioned the semi stabilized elites semi stabilized elites now here stable 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 elites uh, will participate in the resonating that means uh, here uh, lesser the nucleophilicity here lesser the nucleophilicity okay now here it, it it repels the like uh, it repels the electron that means uh, it is a stabilized compound here the more negative charge that means uh, here it is more like a more stable nucleophile and not the more stable more reactive nucleophile more reactive nucleophile now here it is more basic in nature here it is less basic in nature less basic in nature so less basic nature less nucleophilicity that means uh, less of the nucleophilicity it will attract the more reactive species so now our carbonyl compounds in case of carbonyl aldehydes and the ketones among the among these two which is more reactive aldehydes undoubtedly aldehydes are more reactive than carbonyl compounds uh, the ketone compounds that's why stabilized elites uh, reacts in case of aldehydes only is restricted for the aldehydes why because uh, uh, this elites is stable that means it is a lesser nucleophilicity lesser basicity that's why it cannot attack over the uh, less uh, weak electrophilic center when compared to more okay but that's why here the stabilized elites are used to prepare the uh, like uh, aldehydes only but now here it, it creates the both aldehyde as well as ketones why because it is more stabilized it is more stabilized now this is the very uh, very easier uh, classification about e like
Now we we'll discuss the uh, stereochemistry of uh, Wittig reactions. Stereochemistry of Wittig reaction will will mainly depends upon the like uh, elites nature, either stable elites or unstable elites. Okay, we have discussed in the previous case of either stabilized elites or non-stabilized elites, some of the semi-stabilized elites. Now the stereochemistry, stereo-specific reactions. Now we will discuss the stereochemistry of the Wittig reaction. Okay, stereochemistry of the Wittig reaction. So generally. Stereochemistry of the Wittig reactions in case of non stabilized elites, non stabilized elites, it gives the Z alkene as a measure, Z alkene as a measure product. But in case of uh, stabilized elites, stabilized elites, it gives the E isomer. E isomer as a major product. We will discuss the each and the Z E isomer. Why it, uh, it favors the non stabilized elites? Why that favors the stabilized elites? I'll give the clear cut information over the mechanism. Okay, no, no, no problem. Now, here Z alkenes, here the solvents, whenever we use the basis like uh, before the, before the uh, solvents, we'll discuss the basis. Now, here we use the basis in this reaction like a lithium basis, like a bitter lithium methyl lithium uh, like a uh, LDA those are the lithium bases whenever uh, such type of lithium bases we, which are used in the non stabilized relights here the, it, it uh, releases the lithium ions uh, it is soluble the lithium ions uh, more and more okay so that uh, more and more soluble lithium ions uh, will decreases the Z isomer uh, uh, Z isomer character that means uh, sometimes uh, z isomer z is uh, z, z is to e, e ratio like uh, 95 to 5 now whenever we use the lithium solvents uh, it decreases like 75 to 5 25 like uh, 65 to 35 that uh, su such type of uh, decreasement we observed in presence of uh, lithium bases why because lithium uh, bases are very uh, readily soluble in the solvents now th then it becomes uh, it, uh, it affects the decrease of z alkenes it affects the decrease of z alkenes that's why we used the base now the bases which are used in the uh, like a uh, non stabilized elites like a uh, sodium hexamethyl diacylazides or potassium hexamethyl diacylazides those are the strong bases which which does not affect the much more on the decreasement of uh, z alkene again tertiary butoxide like a uh, uh, sodium alkoxide sodium methoxide like such a type of bases we are used in the uh, like a uh, uh, non stabilized relates here it creates the sodium as well as the potassium ions so it releases the it, it, uh, it dissolves the sodium and the potassium ions very less amount so that less amount does not affect on the formation of a z alkene that's why here the bases are like uh, NaH uh, uh, sodium hexamethyl diacylazide potassium hexamethyl diacylazide tertiary butoxide these are the main bases which are used in the like a non stabilized elides formation non stabilized elide formation some of the times they are used in the like a disamyl uh, uh, Basis like a sulfur uh, sulfur double bond CH two minus basis. Okay. Now in case of solvents, so here uh, we avoid the solvents such as protic solvents. Why? Because protic solvents can affect both stereo selectivity and uh, uh, elides character. Both stereo selectivity as well as uh, elides character. That's why we avoid the protic solvents such as alcohols. Uh, like uh, uh, protic alcohols or protic solvents. Any protic solvents we are not used here. So that's why uh, we are used the non-protic solvents. Uh, that too in non-protic solvents, benzene, toluene is the most suitable reagent. Benzene, toluene, like uh, the normal ethers, they are used in the non-stabilized elides. Okay, non-stabilized elides. Now in case of uh, stabilized elides, E isomer is major. So it is uh, absolutely not correct. Okay, so sometimes it may be depends upon the solvent nature. Okay, it depends upon the solvent nature. Now we use the solvent like it is a non-polar. So in case of non-polar, we will get the E isomer as a major product. In case of polar solvents, so Z isomer as a major product. Okay, the stabilized elites will use the two types of uh, uh, like uh, stereo stereo specificity. One is a E isomer along with a non-polar solvents. Another one is a Z isomer in polar solvents. Okay. Now here uh, polar solvents will give the Z isomer. Non-polar solvents will give the E isomer. So that is a uh, orientation of E isomer formation. I'll I'll discuss over the mechanism. Okay, uh, no problem. So this is the main uh, uh, stereochemical aspect in the Wittig reaction. Okay. Now we'll go through the mechanism of the Wittig reaction. Mechanism of the Wittig reaction.
mechanism. So now we'll go through the two steps manner. Now first I'll explain a very simple uh, a simple example, a simple representation. After that I'll explain the, the, like a placard mechanism also. Okay. What will happen in case of uh, E olefins product again uh, Z olefin products? Now we'll go through the simplest mechanism. I'd like to take the aldehyde which is better to uh, understand uh, like a, a, stereo, a stereo chemistry like a cis or a trans product. Now here, uh, like uh, I would like to take the phosphorosylates. And that means here C, P, P, H, 3, here R, it is minus, C, H, here plus. Okay, whenever the nucleophilic, uh, uh, nucleophilic center of carbon ion will attack over the uh, like uh, electrophilic center of carbonyl compound, now it creates the oxy anion. It creates the oxy anion. Here it is the hydrogen car, uh, R group and now C, H, here it is R. P, P, H, 3 plus O minus, okay, so which is nothing but betaine intermediate, which forms the betaine intermediate, betaine, okay, it's not the intermediate. Whenever the phosphorus are like a silicon, less electronegativity atoms, the tendency of less electronegativity atoms, it readily forms with, a, uh, readily creates the bond with a higher electronegativity atom, okay. Now, the tendency of uh, lesser, uh, lesser electronegativity atoms like phosphorus, silicon, okay, so they are readily forms the bonds with a higher electronegativity atoms. So now here, uh, both uh, negative and positive charges creates the, like, uh, bonds, now here it is. R, here R, H is there, here H, here is R is there, here H, here R is there. Now, again, the same tendency will will uh, put towards the formation of phosphorus oxygen double bonds. Now, here the bonded two electrons will shift towards the phosphorus oxygen atom. Now, here these bonded two electrons will form the carbon or carbon carbon double bond. Now, here H, H, R. Sometimes it may be possible for the preparation of like a cis olefins like cis olefins now here it may be uh, it depends upon the like uh, nature of phosphorus elites nature of phosphorus elites so sometimes uh, uh, stable elites will give the like uh, one of the product as uh, semi stable elites will give the mixture of product but stable elites will give the only one of the product okay now this is the simplest representation of uh, 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 phosphorus wittig reaction mechanism now however how it is posited like a z isomer like a Z alkene, how it is formed like a E alkene. I'll go through the each and every category very clearly. Now, generally, the stereochemistry of a mechanism will explain the stereochemistry of a Wittig reaction will explain the formation of mechanism. Formation of mechanism. Okay. Now the formation of mechanism. First one, Z formation. Z means a cis, cis double bond formation. Now here it is a aldehyde, like a, it is aldehyde, RH. Now here, like a PH3 phenyl CHR. PH3 phenyl CHR. Here R is equal to CH3, like alkyls are hydrides. Whenever it gets, it is non stabilized elites. So we already discussed non stabilized elites will use the, like a, Z isomer non stabilized elites will give the Z isomer. Now, here uh, the orientation of uh, non stabilized elites like this P C H R. Okay, now I'll write the orientation of this molecule like this. Now, this is the phosphorus atom P P H 3. Now, here R H or H. Whenever uh, this aldehyde will attack over the like will orient the like this here H R. Okay, so now here it creates the oxygen and the phosphorus bond development. Again, it creates the like a carbon to carbon single bond development. Now here it observes like this phosphorus. Now here it is oxygen. Okay, now the phosphorus oxygen will develop the double bond. Again, here it is it breaks the double bonds. Now here it breaks the double bond. Now here it forms the double bond. Now here R H like a H R. Now here. P, P, H, 3. Here H, here R, here P, P, H, 3. P, P, H, 3. Now I would like to write the R bottom and the hydrogen above. Hydrogen above. Why? Because I would like to write the uh, R group uh, at the bottom phase. Now here it is the large group. Now here if we present the large group over here, they are statically repelled. That's why these two are large groups uh, separated. Like uh, large groups are, large groups are far away. 
okay so it is far away that's why it is, there is no steric effect again similar way here it is r group here it is r group if r group present over here it is steric crowding that's why i kept the both r groups are far away i kept the both r groups are far away now here also both r groups are far away okay so that's why here it creates the uh, like uh, opposite uh, now here it creates the uh, distance between the r r group r r group now here it is the phosphorus r h p p h 3 okay again now here it, it is a placard structure placard uh, like a placard uh, mechanism structure placard mechanism structure now here it is r p p h 3 now here whenever carbonyl compounds oxygen will develop the bonds with phosphorus that means uh, now here it rotates the molecule like a uh, vertical it rotates the molecule vertical now here oxygen now here carbon so if it rotates the molecule vertical then both r groups are same size when both r groups are same side that means uh, if both r groups are above the plane or below the plane both are same side both are same side that's why here elimination takes place now we will get the like a uh, R R H H. Okay, listen carefully. Here it creates the Z wolfine as a measure one. Here it creates the Z wolfine as a measure one. So in generally, now it is the very critical case to understanding the mechanism. Okay, now here it it develops the phosphorus oxygen bond. Now again it forms the carbon carbon single bond. Okay, whenever these phosphorus oxygen bonds uh, will create the uh, like a vertical orientation of carbonyl compounds. Now if in case of vertical orientation, both R groups are in same side. Okay, now in case of here the arrangement of R groups are far away. That means uh, here it is sterically crowded. Okay, so this is the formation of Z isomer. Formation of Z isomer. Now I'll go through the formation of. Uh, uh, like uh, E isomer mechanism. So whenever it is a uh, withdrawing groups. Now uh, we will discuss the E isomer formation. Whenever E isomers, we are already discussed. Uh, in case of E isomers, uh, stable elites will use the E isomers. Stable elites will use the E isomer. Again, uh, there are uh, several types are there. So, if in case of pro non protic, it gives the E isomer. Protic is Z uh, isomer. We already discussed. Now, here in case of uh, uh, e, e product formation, what will happen? What is the arrangement over the placard structure? Now, we'll go through the very uh, easier explanation. Now, here uh, aldehyde. Again, I would like to take the carbonyl compound like a phosphorus elides. Like a, here, I would like to take the phosphorus elides or PPH3. Okay, now here it is a H like a CH that means here C double bond o, o R like it is a withdrawing group. Like it is withdrawing group. Now, what will happen in case of withdrawing group? Now, here, so I would like to take the uh, aldehyde like benzaldehyde whatever it may be doesn't matter now the arrangement of these two groups like this now here COO ethyl or COO R here H here phosphorus PPH3 now here it is oxygen phenyl here hydrogen okay so now here it develops the phosphorus oxygen single bond now here it destroy the uh, already double bond is uh, it destroy the double bond already formed now here also destroy the carbon oxygen double bond now here it creates the like a carbon oxygen carbon carbon single bond now it seems to be like this so phosphorus like a uh, phosphorus it is the carbon atom okay so this is the like a molecular orientation this is the molecular orientation now however so here pass power uh, triphenyl phosphyl means uh, one phosphyl one pa phenyl group oriented like this one phenyl group oriented like this one phenyl group oriented like this now if i uh, i kept the phenyl group uh, over the top phase uh, over the top phase of the uh, carbonyl compounds so they both are sterically crowded that's why i would like to maintain the uh, phenyl group I, I would like to keep the phenyl group at bottom side here these two are far away from the steric crowding far away from the steric crowding now however if i kept these uh, COR group over here if i kept the hydrogen over here so if both oxygen atom oxygen atom or electronegative atoms they repel to each other that's why i would like to keep the uh, COO molecules COR molecules over the right side if it creates the uh, electronic electronic repulsion that's why i kept the these molecules are far away Okay, now uh, I would like to um, write the mechanism in simple way. Now here it is a, like a phosphorus compound PPH3. 
like a HCOR, HCOR. Whenever these uh, oxygen atom will develop the bond with phosphorus atom. Now here oxygen phosphorus bond is there. Now if the molecule will become so vertical manner, now the phenyl group will shift it towards the back side. Now here it present the like upper side. If whenever the molecule rotate like this, now uh, like a, a phenyl group uh, kept, uh, present over the back side of the carbonyl compound present the back side of the carbonyl compound now here both groups are opposite side now we will get the like a trans as a major product COR phenyl hydrogen this is the trans as a major product okay now we will go through the some of the examples uh, regarding to the uh, like a uh, Wittig reactions okay now we will discuss some of the problems regarding to the Wittig reaction now here before going to the problem I will explain uh, uh, very uh, just 30 seconds the stereochemistry of a Wittig reaction so now the stereochemistry of Wittig reaction will depends upon the like uh, nature of elites in case of non-stabilized delights, it will use the E isomer, sorry, Z isomer as a measure, non-stabilized non, non delights, Z isomer as a measure. Now, in case of stabilized stabilized delights, uh, here based on the polar reagents, in case of non-polar reagents, we'll use the, like, uh, we'll use the uh, E isomer as a measure, in case of polar reagents, uh, Z isomer as a measure, okay. So, now, the, the stability of elites will depend upon the stereochemistry. Now, here, non-stabilized elites will use the Z uh, stabilized relates in non-polar solvents it will it will use the e isomer now here polar solvent it will use the z isomer now we have discussed why it is happened okay uh, like uh, in mechanism okay now i'll go through the uh, uh, some of the examples regarding to the Wittig reaction okay now the first one is first example now here they are given in the uh, posponium salt uh, in presence of base it is deprotonated in presence of base it is deprotonated now it becomes a uh, like a uh, minus here p ph3 plus that means here creates the double bond here creates the double bond now this double bond again a uh, carbonyl carbon carbonyl compound uh, uh, will eliminate it as a triphenyl phosphine oh, we discussed the eliminations in the natural next lectures uh, the limitations of uh, wittig reactions now here like a double bond now here it creates the z isomer it creates the Z isomer. Why? Because here it is a donating group. Donating is nothing but a non-stabilized delight. So here the presence of non-stabilized delights uh, will give the Z isomer as a measure. Z isomer as a major product. This is common one. This is common one. Again, another application of uh, Wittig reaction here in presence of esters, epoxides, double bonds, triple bonds. But uh, our Wittig reaction selectively uh, form the double bonds with the carbonyl compounds only. Okay, that is the main advantage of a Wittig reaction. Okay, now let us uh, uh, let us discuss here. Here, in case of uh, phosphorus elites, that means Wittig reaction, we will get the Z isomer as a measure. Now, let us let us discuss. Here, it is uh, SO2 phenyl, that means uh, aromatic sulfides. So, in presence of aromatic sulfides, the same reagent. What will happen? So, aromatic sulfides, the same reagent. Additionally, I would like to take the like uh, NaHZ, that means sodium amalgam. In presence of sodium amalgam, so, uh, aromatic sulfonyl elites, which is nothing but Julia olefination. Now, Julia olefination, we will get the trans product as a measure trans product as a measure in case of uh, same substrates but the reaction is different now the Wittig reaction will give the z isomer but uh, julia reaction will give the uh, e, e isomer as a major e isomer as a major now we'll go through the second option the second question not the second option now here also it is alkyl allyl okay so this is the alkyl group that is nothing but non stabilized delights in presence of non stabilized delights uh, we will get the like uh, z isomer as a major z isomer as a major one now here it is a double bond now here ch3 like a c3 c13 h27 c13 h27 it is a, like a fatty acid chain now here it is the uh, like a cyclo uh, cyclopentyl anion now here it creates the double bond so it is the phenyl it is the phenyl group now however i will discuss the one of the limitation of the wittig reaction over here now here it is a minus here it is a like uh, it is minus now here it is a phosphorus elide phosphorus elide so in case of uh, like uh, such type of compounds uh, now here this aromatic ring that means it is a aromatic ring so due to the aromaticity it is more stabilized due to the aromaticity it is more stabilized such type of uh, elides cannot provide the uh, like a Wittig reaction cannot provide the Wittig reaction that's why very stabilized compounds in Wittig reaction cannot proceed the Wittig okay cannot give, give up the Wittig products okay now this is very important limitation so, like a cyclopentadienyl anion cannot give the like Wittig reaction not that point okay now here 
uh, I will write the uh, compound over there. Now the fourth one is uh, okay. It cannot give us the Wittig reaction. Now here fifth one is uh, like a camphor. So in presence of camphor, we will uh, we will treat it with uh, like a triphenyl phosphine methylene methylene reagent. Here it is a methylenating reagent. Methylenating reagent. So in presence of methylenating reagent, here it is the presence of uh, like uh, bulky groups, but it creates the double bond over there. It creates the double bond over there. Now here it forms the exomethyl. Now it furnishes the exomethylene. Okay. Now not only pH three p p double bond CH two. Now another reagent which is uh, which is uh, act as a pH three p double bond CH lithium. So which which is also a good lith uh, good uh, like a methylenating reagent. Good methylenating reagent. Now we we'll go through the like uh, uh, question number five. Like, uh, sorry, I think it is five. Now here uh, the numbering is changed. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 okay the num numbering so now we we'll go through the question number 6 here they are given in the like phenyls okay we are discussed uh, like uh, elides semi stabilized elides uh, like semi elides now here uh, non stabilized elides that gives the z isomer stabilized elides uh, it that gives the e isomer this is general one now in case of uh, solvents uh, that is uh, affected but uh, semi stabilized semi stabilized elides uh, that gives the mixture of compounds e and z mixture of uh, compounds now here uh, phosphorus elides which is nothing but phenyl now we we'll get the uh, trans as a major product trans as a major product here it is phenyl here it is the phenyl group here it is the phenyl group like a uh, such such type of uh, olefin we, we will get this so such type of uh, olefin how here phenyl ch double bond now here it is a phenyl okay now here in case of second one the same reagent but here which is connected to the withdrawing group withdrawing means it is stabilized by the elides okay now sorry it stabilizes the elides it stabilizes the elides now we will get the like a uh, e product as a major e product as a major now here it is e here it is e they are giving the you know, such type of questions uh, in csr and get uh, uh, because of the e e and e z type of isomers they are they are uh, given the uh, options very confusedly okay now we'll go through the uh, stability like a uh, stability of elide we will get the easily answer well, now we will get the answer very easily now here the same reagent there is no uh, like a uh, stereo specificity why because it is a chiral moiety uh, it's not it's a chiral it's not chiral it is a plane of symmetry moiety that's why we We will not get the isomers. Now here we will get the COO ethyl, similar one. COO ethyl. Now here they are given in the COO ethyl. That means it is stabilized elides. We have discussed over there stabilized elides, very weaker base, very weaker nucleophiles. It reacts with only aldehydes. Why? Because aldehydes are more reactive when compared to the ketones. That's why here it is reacting with uh, CHO only. Now here we will get the like uh, I'll write over here. We will get the CH double bond CH. COO ethyl. Okay, that is uh, like a trans compound. That is uh, a trans compound. COO ethyl. Now this is uh, everything is same. Everything is uh, like a uh, retains. Everything is retains. Now here, in case of it is also elide. Here CHO. That is nothing but uh, it is also aldehyde. It is also aldehyde. Now we will get the same compound. Okay, but here it is also trans one. It is also transport now here it is the two groups so again you have same one okay these are the very simple uh, examples regarding to the wittig reaction now i'll continue the another lecture on uh, wittig reactions over there we will discuss the like a uh, scholars modification of wittig uh, reaction as well as uh, different types of wittig reactions are there now one is uh, like a uh, uh, like a um, wittig reaction with uh, epoxides wittig reaction with uh, beta oxide again gamma oxide types so now intramolecular wittig reactions okay now sometimes it forms the like uh, aromatic uh, heterocyclic compounds like indol like a uh, phenol okay such uh, such type of phenol not the phenol so such type of compounds here prepared by the wittig reactions many of the natural product uh, they are synthesized the based on the wittig reaction they are synthesized with the double bonds in uh, uh, like natural products uh, we will prepare the, with the help of wittig uh, reaction only okay now i'll continue the another lecture on wittig reaction thank you for watching